to write, yeah, otherwise known as Art Master Rich. And I'll be <laughs> showing a tutorial today of how to animate your character. So right here I have this octopus guy. Um, currently I am in uh, Adobe Photoshop and I'll be showing how you could animate in this program. So right now I have my character uh, separated into different layers for each of his uh, parts. What you want to do is go to window uh, where is animation at? animation on here. That's weird. Extensions. Usually there's an animation thing on here. Where is it? There was a motion. Motion? Thing. Go up to extensions where you know up. Motion. Motion. That's. Did they change the name? Okay, they changed the name oh, from animation to motion. Lots <laughs> of <Okay. laughs> Okay, well. Good find. Good find. Wow. Yeah. yeah thank you. Okay. Even though it So down here you'll see a timeline, and oh god, I'm not familiar with uh, the CS6 version of this too well. Well, you, you see you have like little frames down here. Um, like a new layer. Let's say you wanted to uh, warp it to a different position. And you can go to edit uh, puppet warp. And you'll see like this mesh across the arm. And there's the pins. Alright. And so you can uh, click certain points to um, stick onto it that where it's kind of like acts like joints. So if you and then if you move one of these, you can you know move it around. Just say apply. Warp now. Of course, it warps the whole thing, so. I mean, that's kind of how you can sort it's of cool. do something, but yeah, probably it's probably better showing After Effects because this one's on. Keeps updating the first frame, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna close out of this. Alright, so now we're in After Effects. Um, we're gonna go File, Import, File. Open the Photoshop file. Open. I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, say OK. And then uh, over here in the project uh, folder, you got the composition. You're gonna double click it so it opens in the same uh, resolution as your file. Okay. There it is. And then you got all your different layers. Um, if you if you had it separate in layers, I had mine separate in layers, so. so I'm grab my arm and let's see. Basically I'm gonna show you exactly what uh, Photoshop had, the puppet tool. Puppet pin. Let's make some joints. I can do the same thing, move it around. Um, so, so you could do it manually by, um, in a, uh, let's see, by inserting keyframes for each um, pin. It'll it'll automatically do it since it's already set up. So you can go to it. A different position on the timeline and um, move it around. Okay. 
Now you hit spacebar play. And, uh, of course, it's not rendering in real time. Let's uh, let's go to RAM preview. Okay, I see it animated very slowly. <laughs> I also have the option um, if uh, for the puppet tool. Um, let's go to a different arm. Let's go to this one. No, I want the right one. There it is. All right. So let's say joint here, here. So if I want. I can, um, instead of doing it manual, I can uh, make a time thing where it, it moves according to how you move it to the time. So if you hold the command key and click and hold it and move it around, it'll record what you're moving. Now is that how they make cartoons? Uh, now. Oh, that's all I got here. All right, now I'm gonna do it. Okay. Right. So we go. Hold Command key and then click and hold it. Move it around. Hand signal. <laughs> <laughs> the what? <laughs> that one on the, his right his right hand is like. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Now, there's something you have to do to save this a certain way. Is that correct? You have to save your After Effects image in some kind of special way. Uh, if you want it to be a movie. Yeah. Or, yeah. I think when you're done with it, uh, you just go to export. Add to render queue, and then you got your settings. Oh, you can change the size or how long you want it to be. Um, it's the output module, so you can, you know, change, have it to whatever format you want. Usually, QuickTime is pretty good. Uh, you can have different things. But, uh, right now, format is on high settings, so that's. Or you can add, you can compress it if you want if you want a smaller file size. Um, you can add audio if you if you added audio. I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna really show you that unless you really want to see how to put audio. But, but you would check that if you had audio. Um, that's it. And then uh, you name it and then you just hit render and it's okay. and it should go. Very cool. But as for let's say I wanted to move the whole body around, so it's like the Head body. All right. um, since I have it separated in different layers, um, if I move the by around, they're, all, they're not going to move with it. But I can. What I can do is parent all the other layers to the main layer that I want to move, so it moves with it. So if you see these little squiggly things, these little spirals, if you uh, click and drag it to the main layer it'll attach to it. So I'll just attach all these to it. Okay, that's aggressive back I don't want that. Ah. Okay, so let's see. So let's see for this layer transform. I want position. 
So I'm going to hit P for position. I'm going to add a keyframe here. And I'm going to move it to this spot. And I'm going to move it up. It's going to automatically add a keyframe down. You can see everything's moving along with it. And so now the whole thing's moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. And let's say you wanted to, I don't know, add a shadow. Like right now, I don't have any shadow on the ground, but so if to do, you know, if you want to add a shadow, the whole thing, there's really, it's really easy. You just um, see, on that. Pre-compose this. Where is it? We're gonna do this. Pre-render now. Pre-compose. You know what? I'm gonna make a new layer. That's what I'm gonna do. New composition. I know what? I'm gonna duplicate this. Where is it? Where's duplicate? Can't duplicate? No. And I'm going to drag the one composition of my character into this new composition. So that's there. Um, probably going to have to, probably gonna have to separate that. I don't want the background in it. I'm going to turn that off for now. Come on. All right. So I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to, let's see, change the mode. I'm going to make it black. So let's see. Exposure. Exposure to dark. Alright, so now it's black. And I'm going to flip it upside down and put it underneath him. Now you got a shadow under him. Oops. We can uh, we can change the opacity if you go to transparency or op opacity and reduce that. Do that. Maybe add some blur, some effect blur, a fast blur, add some blur to it. And now the shadow will move along with the animation. They don't have to do any work for you. That's pretty much how you can start animating your character.